So a lot of technologies come and go and it's always healthy to be a little bit skeptic about new technologies. However, we don't want to dismiss Docker as just another technology that solves a few of very specific problems for developers or operation teams. But if you look at Docker pseudo virtualization or deployment technology alone, it might be seem very compelling, but Docker is much more than what it seems on the surface. It is hard and often expensive to get communication and processes right between teams of people and even in a small organizations. Yet we live in a world in where the communication of detailed information between teams is required to be successful. Discovering and implementing a tool that reduces this complexity, like Docker, can make everything more robust and a big win for the teams. Now, Docker is a good approach to solving some real-world organizational problems, and it also helps companies to ship better software faster. Delivering a well-designed Docker workflow can lead to happier technical problems and teams, and real savings for the organization's bottom line. So what is going on in today's culture and these organizations? We, are, we have uh, organizations that are feeling the pain when they have to ship software at the speed expected in today's world. And it is hard to do well. Companies grow from one to two developers to many teams of developers. There's the burden of communication around shipping new releases becomes much heavier, much difficult to deal with and much difficult to manage. Developers have to understand a lot of different techniques and tools in a very short amount of time and in a complex environment sometimes. And operation teams need to understand the internal processes of the software they ship and how put to put everything together. Although these are all generally good skills to work on because they lead to better understanding of the environment as a whole then of course we need to a tool that helps us to design robust software. As an organization grows larger, all of these is very difficult to scale. So Docker actually helps with this uh, scaling. Docker is also um, a software architecture in a way that encourages uh, crafted applications. So when we're talking about architectural philosophy, these centers on atomic or throwaway containers. So during deployment, the whole running environment of the old application is thrown away with it. Nothing in the environment of the application will live longer than the application itself. And that is a simple idea with big repercussions. It means that applications are not likely to accidentally rely on artifacts left by a previous release. It means that ephemeral debugging changes are less likely to live in the future releases that pick them up from the whole local file system. It also means applications are becoming more portable between servers because all of the state has to be included directly into the deployment artifact and to be immutable or sent to external dependency like a database, cache, or file server. All of these leads to applications that are not only scalable, but also reliable as well. So instances of an application container can come and go with little impact on the uptime on the front side. I'm sorry, on the front end side. So what are the benefits of having Docker? And we're gonna also cover what is a container. Well, Docker helps by leveraging the skills that developers already have. Many companies have to create positions for release and build engineers in order to manage all the knowledge and tooling required to create software packages for these supported platforms. Tools like RPM, Mock, uh, PB Builder can be complicated to use and each one must be learned independently. Docker, however, 
wraps up all these requirements together into one package that is defined in a single file and is easy to use. Also, in the past, you typically needed to package not only your application but also many of the dependencies that it relied on, like libraries and, and demons. However, you can never ensure that 100% of the execution environment was identical. All of this made packaging difficult to master, and it is hard for companies to accomplish it lively over and over again. So often someone running Scientific Linux will resort to trying to deploy a community package tested on Red Hat Linux, hoping that the package was close enough to what they needed. But with Docker, you can deploy your application along with every single file required to run it. Docker's layer images made this an efficient process that ensures your application is running in the expected environment. Also, you, uh, Docker is useful because Package artifacts are, uh, you know, you can give the same exact artifact to all system and all environments at the same time. So when the developers commit changes to a version control system, such as Git for example, a new Docker image can be built which can go through the whole testing process and be deployed to production without having to be recompiled or repackaged at any step in the process unless you, um, you know, you decide to change something on it. Also, the, one of the most important things I think uh, as a software engineer will be that you don't have to uh, sacrifice resources or hardware when you're using Docker. So the traditional enterprise virtualization solutions like VMware, uh, VMware are typically used when people need to create an abstraction layer between the physical hardware and the software applications that run on it. Um, the hypervisors that manage the VMs and each VM running kernel use a percentage of the hardware system resources, which are then no longer available to the hosted applications. A container, on the other hand, just like Docker, is just another process that talks directly to the Linux kernel and therefore can utilize more resources up until the system or quota base limits are reached. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but before it was Docker, there were, it was something called Linux containers, and they have been around for quite a while. However, Docker's unique mix of uh, architecture and workflow choices combining to a whole that's much more powerful than the sum of its parts. Docker uh, uh, makes Linux containers which have been available since 2008 approachable to the average uh, software or technologies.